Hey everyone and welcome back. So let's make some progress on uh, our API integration. I see these console errors and I really don't like them. This is because I'm just putting the whole Axios response in the Redux state. It's better that you get the data and then return the data from this uh, create a sync thunk. I mean, this is a very basic and silly mistake which I was doing, the return data and then populate this users don't need to do xn.payload.data. Just remove it because you're already getting the data from the Axios payload. So at least I'm now not getting those big console errors. These are just like a warnings for the DOM properties which are not compatible with React. So I will just try to see if there is anything I need to get rid of from the console log. So things looks nice. Now we got these uh, headline cards. We got all the food menu items. We got all the categories, right? what next thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to just uh, when you click on to these particular menu items we are going to work on the our restaurant page okay that is the next thing uh, i'm just checking my refresh tokens and uh, here we can just check uh, we can because the, the what is the another thing we have is some of my services supports a cookie based authorization cookie based authentication some of them are using uh, token based so when you when it comes to the restaurant service which is being used by the dashboard admin i mean the restaurant admin because we are not we are just calling this uh, restaurant service and we are passing this token in the the headers right so some of my services are using cookie based uh, authentication i mean the token being passed in the cookies in some services we are passing cookie uh, passing token in the authorization header same as like this restaurant service and because here we are not creating here we are reading the data we are not allowing okay end user to create a restaurant create this menu items and we are just reading so we don't need to access we are just accessing only the public apis okay give me the dish menu items for this restaurant give me all the dish menu items from all the restaurant right these are the public apis which doesn't need a uh, token but when it when it needs and only the next gs portal is consuming this uh, restaurant APIs that is being that that is accessing these APIs through authorization header which is being passed in the header okay but rest all the other services using cookie based uh, uh, authorization I mean we are passing token inside a cookies just for heads up so you don't get confused somewhere I'm using cookies somewhere I'm using token it's only the restaurant service which is using the token inside uh, authorization header but in the user service uh, in the card service in the other services whatever we build there we are going to use the cookie based and here i'm just uh, populating some data so that i can have a really nice uh, feeling of the filtering food type is a non-veg and here i have uh, burger farm chicken farm mcdonald uh, domino's pizza hut whatever the the name you wanted to put so this is chicken curry this is also non-veg the pricing and then we start uh, just playing with these filters you can see now i get some data for the chicken also pizza chicken salad everything works right so this is what i wanted to achieve and now you can customize i mean i, I was i was not spending much time on customizing the theme so we are going to work on the search what search contains let's say in a swiggy app or uber eats app the landing page itself contains all the dish menu items and all we try to mock a little bit in this uber eats here you can search for the restaurant here you can search for anything the dish menu items restaurant and all and you can also apply the filters for now i will just show the dish menu items which we can fetch so i'm going to use this dishes api because what i'm going to do is when you hit a when you search for a particular text let's say pani pani tikka chicken curry or it should match with the name of or description inside the dish menu item so here and these are the filters which you can apply sort by relevance delivery time prices high and low i mean these are like same you can just use a user reducer uh, build a filter when the filter changes dispatch the actions and call this api make your api more mature when it comes to doing the searching and filtering okay so it's uh, kind of a simple what we are doing is here you have an input text field you are typing something handle dish search that is getting called and here we have some filters based on these button clicks 
so here we are going to do a filtering because uh, we are going to make an api call but i want to have a, diff a different redux state not the same redux state being consumed so i can just uh, use uh, my slices this restaurant slice and create another attribute inside the restaurant slice okay this is i can have a filtered dishes right because i'm going to get the data of a filtered dishes and then this is going to be we will add a uh, typings that is obviously i need to add a uh, packages and then i need to remove these any from some of the places where we are where we need to use the types because we are writing typescript and without without types we are totally dumb like what object what property we are accessing okay so here instead of fetch restaurant fetch dishes we can have another uh, action create action thunk which is actually fetching the top dish menu items i mean it is like a filtered restaurant dishes or felt filtered dishes and here we are going to pass the filter term for now i'm going to play with the search term which is okay whatever the search term we are passing the biryani paneer tikka chicken curry or any popular indian recipe because indian food is always the best which i feel after traveling a lot of countries that indian food is always has a variety it's not only the spicy thing why i'm appreciating indian food let's skip it so here uh, we have this fetch restaurants so i just i will be adding another apis i mean you can also have external api service class and there that you can use to invoke all these methods instead of putting lots of code inside a slices slices the responsibility of slices to fine tune the reducers and the actions logic but not the api call which take which takes authorization header and all sort of stuff here we can just uh, add a three more uh, async thunk in the bottom which is fetching the filtered dishes okay so it's again uh, same thing just i'm um, duplicating stuff filtered restaurant filtered restaurant and a filtered restaurant so here i will just do a filtered dishes instead of filter so this is filtered dishes like when you type something we need to store the data some, somewhere in the Redux state so that my front end component can access them and they can show the filtered dishes. So instead of uh, restaurant.filtered dishes, this is where I will be getting the data. So it's a filtered dishes. And uh, here, action.payload.data, we are good. And now I just need to pass the, the filters and my filters are nothing uh, big i just need to pass the search term so here in the component uh, what we are doing store dispatch filtered restaurant i mean we are we are getting all sort of filters and dishes and all because we need to trigger the store dispatch when the filters are getting changed when the search term is getting changed so i have all sort of filters but the only thing which i'm going to apply is the search term so here i, I you can see i'm passing this string search text and the search text will be appended in the filters search text equal to whatever the search you are entering inside your search block and this is my api and let's see how it really works so uh, i will just try to enter something and try to see we can see dishes search it's giving me 500 let's see what it is okay filters is it the api endpoint looks correct Okay, yeah, I think uh, we are missing one at the rate. Okay, API endpoint was not correct. Now I corrected that. Paneer, okay, it should give me some response. Okay, I got some response. Now I just need to show it, right? Because I have already have a selector. And inside my Redux state, if I try to see what my Redux state looks like, it is getting filtered dishes. And inside that, there is a data as an array. So I need to play with the selector and see where this selector is getting the data. So I will just copy use selector logic. I'm sometimes lazy while typing, so I just copy paste stuff. So use selector and here inside of this, I will just pass the filtered dishes, filtered restaurant. Uh, it should be filtered dishes. Okay, so I will correct that. It's a filtered dishes and from there I will just get the filtered dishes data. 
so from there i get the data as an array right so this is what we need to apply here so we are getting a filter dishes data and then same we need to iterate okay so i already have this component which is iterating on the empty array so i will go to the bottom and i will just play with this data i mean we already have lots of filters i will maybe i will apply those filters but here i'm just trying to do a plain uh, keyword search and here i'm passing the restaurant so displays another component which is going to show a simple card component which is showing the image and all sort of property let's see what we are getting here okay i got the text and the name so now it's easy for me to display the thumbnail image and some button in the bottom which is say okay click here or explore or order something right so it looks like we are getting the thumbnails okay this is in a string we are getting it so restaurant dot thumbnails then i think it's uh, our due problem which is not showing it you select as it's undefined we are trying to access the data zero okay where this is coming from let's debug this so data zero display key value pair okay use selector and okay i think uh, filter dishes filter dishes can be null also so it depends on what we are getting inside data object and based on the data only we can filter so we will just check the redux state it's not initialized so what we should do is to debug this is we have a restaurant and then dishes which is empty right now so what we can do this is really important why because currently we start accessing the data and all so but our data is empty data is null so what we can do in the data initialization is it should be a simple object for first of all filter dishes was not even initialized so it was giving an error for us right and then uh, cannot read property of undefined length because filter dishes restaurant dot filter dishes okay okay we are trying to access i think some data property in sydney on this which is not initialized because it ideally should be an object filter dishes which contains the data error or success properties so let me debug this okay this should be an object that's correct because we are assigning we by initializing the state we are assigning an object you can see we are assigning a state data and error and we are accessing the data so we cannot initialize this, this as an array this was the mistake from the beginning so i mean it's all about how you initialize your redux state so what i will do is i will put all these three properties also state data and error in during the initialization so it is saying okay restaurant data is empty dishes data is empty stored uh, filtered dishes data is empty because we are accessing the data inside a redux selectors it depends on you how you choose to access the properties some in some of the component we are accessing the data and if data is null obviously it will throw an error so this is my initial state looks like okay you can see now it's coming up and our error is just resolved because filter dishes now has a data property which is either an empty array or it can have some result inside this right this is the initial state everything is empty inside data and it works now we just need to showcase the images and some button components inside this so i'm just trying to see okay what is preventing this from showing the image so i think we applied the thumbnail which is correct i think we can put this on the top because there is some height i'll add it h height 56 so if it is not coming inside height then it won't show this because this is a fixed height container so if i just show, okay i got the image that's good so this is like card component we can show some this some small description we can substring that and then we can also increase the height we can because this is like a grid for me it's like a, a css grid that we will know from the parent component css grid we can also create it as a flex container it's easy to display all those things and here i can see the green view more button so this is pretty much this is all the dish menu items which are available based on my search and when you click on to this we should be able to navigate you to the restaurant page and there you can navigate to the restaurant page and see all the dish menu, menu items for 
for the, that restaurant not only this menu item so this is just a navigation mode when you click on to these this menu items you will go to the restaurant landing page there you will see the whole menu of this particular restaurant and then you can start adding them to the cart and start buying them. 